One of the major stories during 53-man rooster cutdowns on Tuesday was that the Vikings addressing their tight end depth issue, making a trade with the New York Jets for tight end Chris Herndon, continuing the fuel of the dumbest rivalry in sports history, and the Jets. A full details of the trade are now in, and Prate Ricke Spielman is like Ursher John and Luda done and did it again. Tom Pelissero, go. Trade details. The Vikings are trading a 2022 fourth-round pick to the Jets for tight end Chris Herndon and 2022 six round pick per source it wasn't on the transaction wire today but the deal is done to facilitate the chris herndon trade the jets paid him a roughly 1.4 million dollar signing bonus while the vikings will only pay 920,000 minimum salary so in essence new york trades herndon a six round pick and a little cash for a fourth and minnesota gets tight end help cheap so to recap the vikings give up a what should be a late fourth round pick next season for Herndon and likely an early sixth round pick from the Jets. And the Jets pay two thirds of his 2021 salary roughly. And the Vikings only take on 920,000 on the cap, uh, the league minimum for a fourth year player. That's amazing. That is amazing. That's a slam dunk for Spielman and Brzezinski. How on earth could people possibly be upset by this deal? Oh, sorry you wanted Zach Ertz for a 2035 conditional seventh round pick and a clown fart. Mm. And in terms of young, underachieving tight ends who have potential and needed a change of scenery, David Njoku from the Browns, OJ Howard from the Bucks, Chris Herndon from the Jets, I, I was fine with any of them, especially at this price. And the trade chart difference between a late fourth round pick and an early sixth round pick is roughly 20 points, which is the equivalent of a mid sixth round pick. So not only are you getting a pile of cash from the Jets, you're getting Chris Herndon for the equivalent of a mid sixth round pick. I'll take that. I will take that, man. And I know the initial sticker shock of giving up a fourth round pick, and I love fourth round talent on the Vikings that they've assembled. Hell, Everson was a fourth rounder back in the day. But let's be honest, there's a pretty big difference between day two draft picks and day three talent. There just is. So I'm not losing any sleep uh, about giving up the equivalent uh, of a mid six round pick if everything goes according to Hoyle. And also, Herndon isn't coming in to be tight end one. He's not going to be the savior of that position. Herndon will be tight end two behind Gronklin and will eventually be tight end three if and when, hopefully, Irvsma Jr. gets back this season. And maybe he recaptures some of that love and feeling that he had as a rookie in 2018, the season where he put up 39 catches, 502 yards receiving, and four touchdowns. All three of those would have led the 2020 Vikings tight ends, by the way, except for touchdowns where Irv had five. So the kid clearly has some talent, and maybe he just needs to be more consistent. And maybe the change of scenery will help. And just being around this uber-talented team where you got Justin Friggin' Jefferson, you got Dalvin Cook, you got Adam Thielen, maybe they'll help raise his game. It's like, wow, wow, I got to bring it. This ain't the Jets anymore, son. That's right. Uh, plus, you pick up an expiring contract. If and when Herndon shows up and shows out, that he's got a little bit of life to him. He hits free agency next year, makes a little bit of money himself, and then the Vikings potentially are in line for a 2023 compensatory pick. Everything works out. So I love this trade went it went down. I love it even more now that the trade comp is announced. So woo, Rick Spielman, man. Just doing it all the time. Doing it and doing it and doing it well. That's right. Uh, beer thoughts. Chris Herndon, trade comp. Let us know in the comments section below. Subscribe for Daily Vikings Takes. Most support that work. Pull a little something in the Venmo. But until next time, Skull, production value.